this prophecy, you are too hard on yourself. And you have been too hard on yourself. Love God and love people. You'll see that your heart there, it will not be very hard. Bring joy to God. Then you want to bring joy to people. Lack of self-love causes a deficiency of love for God and of love for people. Lack of self-love. You have to repeat after me now because that's where you belong. Can we all stand if we can? Those who are still very, very strong. I, I unconditionally, unconditionally love myself, love myself even, though even though I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. I, I love myself, love myself even, though even though I have faults, I have faults and, limitations. and limitations. I love myself, I love myself even though even though I have faults, I have faults and limitations. And limitations. I love myself. I love myself. Even though, even though I make mistakes. I make mistakes and errors. And errors. I love myself. I love myself. Even though, even though I make mistakes. I make mistakes and errors. And errors. I love myself. I love myself. Even though, even though I feel. I feel envious. Envious. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I feel. I feel envious. Envious. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I lose my temper. I lose my temper. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I lose my temper. I lose my temper. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I overeat. I overeat. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I overeat. I overeat. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I don't always. I don't always. Utilize. Utilize. My time. My time. In the best and wisest way. In the best and wisest way. I love myself. I love myself. Even though. Even though. I don't always. I don't always. Utilize. Utilize. My time. My time. In the best and wisest ways. In the best and wisest ways. Lord. Lord. From today. From today, I will practice. I will practice loving myself. Loving myself. Clap for Jesus. We can take our seats. Look, when we truly love someone, we care for that person's needs. When we truly love someone, we care for that person's needs. When you love yourself, what needs do you care for yourself? Because that's a mistake. When I say I love myself, I'm not talking about being proud. I'm not talking about being rude and selfish. 
and oh no that's not loving yourself those are daily things no it's not that here yeah. when we truly love someone we care for that person's needs when you love yourself do you know how to care for yourself I can't hear you. There it is. That's why we, you have never loved yourself. Junior, you have never loved yourself. When you say, I love myself, it's selfishness. Yes, sir. Thank you, Prophet, for this grace. Yes, it's now, I, it's, 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 it's now your teaching that. It's just occurring to me that I don't love myself. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't even take care of myself. I do things that will put me in danger. I do things that will destroy me. Uh -huh. According to you, that's loving yourself. Yes, prophet. Because you don't know your needs. When I say, who are you? When you love someone, you care for that person's needs. So when you love yourself, why do you care about yourself? Now that's why the question is. That's why his love of self puts him in danger. His love of self brings destruction. His love of self brings division. When you love yourself, you will strive to meet the spiritual needs of your soul. Yeah? Say it again. When you love yourself, you will strive to meet the spiritual needs of your soul. Yes. The soul that's you. And their soul needs spiritual needs. When you love yourself, you are going to upgrade your thoughts. You are going to upgrade your words. You are going to upgrade your actions. Is that you? Hello? Can you hear me outside? I can't hear you. Ah, thank you so much. I thank God. When you love yourself, you are going to strive to meet the spiritual need or needs of your soul. Thank you, Junior. Your soul has got needs. To upgrade and uh, uh, give your soul these needs, you are going to upgrade your thoughts, your words, your actions. Like I say, it's a prophecy. God, your maker, the creator and sustainer of the universe believes in you and in your potential. I can't hear you. God, the creator, the sustainer of the universe believes in you and in your potential. That should excite you. It's God, not man, believing in you. God believes in you. Amen. Now, because God believes in you, I've got no choice, me. So do I believe in you. Amen. Yes. God believes in you. So who am I to disagree with God? So do I believe in you. So you should be, 
So you should believe in yourself. Three people. God, myself, and you. Tell your neighbor. Three people. God, myself, and you. Myself is me, prophet. Have you seen? God believes in you. Me, I believe in you. So you should believe in yourself. You've got no choice. Amen. That should change you. That should move you away from people hating me, people doing this, people doing this. God believes in you. I see right now, even those outside, I see into your heart and I see into your soul that you really are a person with high aspirations. Amen. You are a person with high aspirations. Amen. You. You. Amen. You. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. Until now, it's prophecy, until now, you have been basing your life on your history. Up to now. You've been basing your life on your past. That's what I call history. Your future is not based on the past. I can't hear you. Speak to yourself. My future, my future is not based. Is not based on the past. On the past. Again and again. My future is not based on the past. My future is not based on the past. Okay. My future, says so. My future is based. Is based on my present on my present awareness. Awareness. When you become aware who you are, that's the beginning of your future. It's not based on your past. Hello. Amen. Your future is based on what? My present awareness. Now. Now. It's now. What what you are hearing now, that's the beginning of your future. Amen. Not history about you. Not what people said about you. Not your experiences that you went through. Those who come in later. The one major thing that will make a major difference in your life is to begin to love yourself unconditionally. That's the only thing. It's not the people you know. It's not the money that you want to have. It's not the position wherever you are. No. The one major thing that will make a major difference in your life this, what I'm talking about, one major difference, everyone who see you will know. They will notice it. You are different. You are different. And it is because you have begun to love yourself. How? Unconditionally. Be determined. Okay, stand up and pray this prayer. I am determined. I am determined to love myself. To love myself totally. Totally and unconditionally. And unconditionally. I am determined. I am determined to love myself. To love myself totally. Totally and unconditionally. And unconditionally. Right now. Right now. I am awake. I'm awake. Right now. Right now. I am awake. I am awake. I will do. I will do. Great things. Great things. In my life. In my life. I will do. I will do. Great things. Great things. In my life. In my life. I am awake. 
I am aware. I'm aware. I'm aware of my future. Of my future. The Almighty God. The Almighty God will lead me. Will lead me along the path. Along the path that I sincerely. That I sincerely want to take. Want to take. God Almighty. God Almighty. Will lead me. Will lead me. Along the path. Along the path. That I sincerely. That I sincerely. Want to take. Want to take. Let's clap for Jesus. We may take a seat. Are you aware with your life, your present now needs? Are you noticing those? Present now needs. When you are not taking notice, when you are not noticing the present now needs, present now needs, For example, I'll speak slowly. Am I too fast? It's because of heat, maybe. Tell your neighbor, uh, drop your phone, uh, whatever you're using. Now you always know more than previous nows. Now you always know more than previous nows. Again, please. Now you always know more than previous nows. You know in the past you had nows. Now. N-O-W. Now, 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 now. But those nows of yours, you never took notice of them. This awareness has come now. So, rejoice now in the now of the new now. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. I will rejoice. I will rejoice now. Now in the now, in the now of the new now. Of the new now. Stand up and rejoice and say that. Yes. I will rejoice now in the now of the new now. Louder, louder. I will rejoice now in the now of the new now. Continue. I will rejoice now in the now of the new now. Hallelujah. Continue. I will rejoice now in the now of the new now. Ah, you got it. When you catch that, there's no wrong things here are gone. Rejoicing now in the now of the new now. This new now has never been the now. It's a new now. Come on now. You can do much better than that. If I ask you a question, why are you rejoicing? I will rejoice now in the now of the new now. I can't hear you. You are rejoicing because of what? Of the now, in the now of the new now. Rejoice. Let's hear you. Rejoice. Thank you very much. Now, can you see now? It has got no carryover. You are getting tired. You are accelerating your old age. Not because of the now. It's because of the past that you bring to the now. So, because you bring it to the now, you got no present. Because you got no present, you got no future. That's it. 
Hello? That's how it is. That's how we've been living. Psalms 90 verse 12. Thank you so much. You can take our seats. So, title now of the... This is the message now. Tell your neighbor. This is the message now. This is the message now. Louder. This is the message now. My life until now. My life until now. That's the title. What's the title? My life until now. That means something has to happen. My life until now. That means I didn't have awareness. So, okay, from there to my life from there until now. Okay. From here now. Ha. Tell your neighbor. From here now. Ha. I can't hear you. From here now. Ha. Psalm 90, 12. Psalm 90, verse 12. So teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Yes. When you know how to number your days, you won't lack wisdom. This is a poem. Poem that I will speak or talk to you about then others can write song about. It's a poem. The past is only memories. The future is but illusory. It's imagined. It's elusive. The future is but illusory hopes. Focus on the present. For that is where your life is. And it consists only of tests. Go ahead. Yes. The past is only memories. Yes. The future is but illusory hopes. Focus on the present. Mm -hmm. For that is where your life is. Uh-huh. And it consists only of tests. <laughs> it consists what? Only of tests. Can't you see? When you don't understand life. And when you don't understand future, the present. You are fighting tests. You are complaining. Murmuring. Oh. Read the poem again. It's a poem. The past is only memories. Look, you can tell me here now. Oh, you know, I used to fly. I used to go where? I used to go where? I used to have this big house. I used to have this big car. I used... What are you telling me? The past. Memories. This is memory. Can I benefit? <laughs> Ask your neighbor. Can I benefit from your memories? Can I benefit from my memories? But you are telling me what? Memories. Memories. I was intelligent. I was what? Pardon, sir? Pardon, madam? This. What am I going to benefit? Yes, continue. The future is but illusory hopes. Mm -hmm. Focus on the present. That's it. There are people... You only find them always talking on future. One day, one day, one day, one day. You know, I saw a house there. I want to build the same house. Uh, one day, one day. Look, 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 please. It, your future is your imagination. It's not yet there. I cannot eat your future. Not yet, at least. I cannot benefit from your future. We meet, you see, prophet, I'm going to have trucks. And I'm going to label them impact trucking. <sighs> what do you have now? No, nothing. 
Nothing. I just got a scooter. But one tracks. Imagination. Continue. For that is where your life is. And it consists only of tests. The present, your future. It consists only of your tests. That's why Psalm 90 comes in. Teach us to number our days. It is in the daily tests, in the present daily tests, where you fell. Understanding this poem will save you and many people from much distress and suffering. Your distress and suffering is because you don't know this poem. Read all of us. I want you to know it and memorize it. You will not have distress or much suffering. It won't be there. One, two, three. The past is only memories. The future is but illusory hopes. Focus on the present, for that is where your life is. Mm -hmm. And it consists only of tests. I'm even helping you. The present is where your future is. And this praise consists of what? Tests. Tests. Only. Only of tests. There are people who wrote metric. That's a test. Those who pass university. Your future, the present, consists of what? Only tests. Metric. Pass. You want to have money? Test. Test of money, finance. Only tests. Those who have future they continue passing tests. Those are the ones who say, this man is great. This woman is great. What do they do? They continue passing tests. Much distress comes from needlessly Thinking about the past. Needlessly thinking about the past. Thinking about the comments people thoughtlessly made about you. You look like a hyena. And that is bothering you. Are you in a game park? So you know this is thoughtless it can't affect me this. But you, needlessly thinking of past comments, people thoughtlessly made about you. They made comments like you won't make it in life. They made comments you won't marry. But you, that's where you are right now. You've got no present. All you have is past. And you can do nothing with past. We are going to bury you. You won't, you won't have this newness. You won't enter your greatness. Much distress comes from being obsessed about past mistakes and past errors. You're obsessed. You're addicted to past mistakes, past errors. Totally addicted to them.
you didn't learn from your past mistakes so that you gain a heart of wisdom. It came, you failed, but you gained wisdom. You gained wisdom. When it comes again, you are going to pass with flying colors. Am, am I clear to everyone? Are you benefiting? Because this, you can see already Christmas, a lot of people, they don't even know what to do. The first thing they don't know that the world has changed in 2020. So they want to have Christmas the way they had it in 2010. It can't happen. Be wise. Wake up. Wake up. It's not the same. Please. It looks as if it's the same, but the world has changed. Big time. It has changed. Much distress comes from worrying about potential suffering that doesn't happen. Much distress comes from worrying about potential suffering that doesn't happen. You are here. I'm going to die of hunger. Have you died? You said so. We're going, we're, we're going to suffer in this, what is this, COVID lockdown. We're going to die of hunger. There you are. Look at the worrying and distress that came upon you. Let me be a bit nasty right now. Is that okay? In fact, I'm seeing you for the last time maybe. I mean, I'll see you next year, so I won't spare you. Past experiences have shaped your life and have made you who you are now. Tell your neighbor. Past mistakes have shaped my life and have made me who I am now. Who said no? Stand up and I'll tell you. What has shaped you? Past experiences. Yes. Past experiences. Somebody now want to come and talk to you. Say, hey, no. What I passed through, it was painful. Hey. Huh? No, no, I, I don't like pain. Why? What I passed through. If, for example, you're in a rough relationship and the guy or woman was tough on you or a man was tough on you because it goes 50-50. It's not only man to woman. It's also woman to man. No, I'm telling you the truth. I've seen men damaged, totally damaged. They need to be repaired. Men, totally damaged. They know themselves. So when this relationship can finish and to, gain, to get into another one, every time the lady is ready for this man, what and what, the man says, mm, um, my last wife. How about your last wife? She was following me on payday to the office to collect everything. Then after, I get, after she gets, then she pays me for her time, and she goes. So now you can't enter a new one. Mm -mm. And you even bring in your parents now. My parents say I should wait. You are 44. You say parents. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I 
Why has your past fashioned you, shaped you? It's what you have already thought, what you have already said, and what you have already done in the past has created you who you are now. What you have already thought. Because that's experience. You thought about that. You had that experience that's in the past. You said it in the past. You did it in the past. But all that has created you who you are now. When I can ask you a question right now, you are not digging in the archives of 19 or 2004. Just question in the present, 2020. The answer will come from 2004. Tell your neighbor. Question in the present, 2020. Yeah. The answer will come in 2004. That's where you go. You go back and dig to bring to the present. That's how you've been living your life. I said that's how you've been living your life. If you didn't take notice, you are not aware that you are not living in the present. Your past has got tremendous impact in your life. In your life. You are failing to move on now, now, because of that impact of the past. Since everything that happened in the past has already happened, Since everything that has happened in the past has already happened. But look how it's shaking you. It has already happened. But look how it's shaking you. As if it's happening now. I can't hear you. Why are you quiet? Are you here? Is it too hot? Truth. Oh. Okay, speak, uh, Apostle. Yes. That's why we are quiet. And that's why I'm crying. You're crying. <laughs> it's true. Because we are losing... All your potential is being wasted. And God believes in you. God trusts you. But all these are from God. You don't see it. Because of what you pass through. Your experiences. What you thought in the past. What you said in the past. What your actions were in the past. So presently now you've got nothing. So the potential is just being wasted. And right now you are failing to make positive choices. You are failing. Thank you, sir. You are failing to make what? Positive choices. Yourself. Don't, don't say this one, that one. No, 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 no. It's you. Right now. Because you are failing to make positive choices, you are failing to plan. You are failing to say, and you are failing to do in the present. You are paralyzed in the present. You can't plan. You can't say, and you cannot do anything. <sighs> What I did last time, can't you see? Hey, I can't make a decision. Hey, mm -mm. when I planned that time, mm -mm. 
Mm. Mm. Look at this. It happened. It has already happened. So why are you paralyzed now with the happenings of the past? We cannot change the past, but we can change the future. I can't hear you. Yes. Say that yourself. I cannot change the past, but I can change the future. Again and again. I cannot change the past, but I can change the future. What I'm saying here and now, please, family of impact and those that will listen to this step, years to come, you need to plan for the future. You need to. Don't just sell through as if you are bought on high seas. You have to plan for the future. Realize that the future results of what we say and do now. That's where the future is best. What we say now and do now. now. That's where the future is. So those who say, my future is brilliant. What were you basing your future on? Because you passed arithmetic? Some people just imagine how great everything will turn out to be. Everything will be okay. It will be paradise. Everything will be okay. My dear wife, it will be okay. Your wife is telling you, let's plan. My wife, don't worry. Jesus is coming soon. My husband, the children are growing up. School fees and all. Don't worry. Jesus, God takes care of the lily of the valley. That is there today. Gone in the afternoon. What more with my children? God will take care of them. You are lying. Your imagination has gone too far. Number one, imagination is not reality. That's the first thing. Because a lot of us, we are in our bed, in the bedroom, looking to the ceiling. You even know how many holes are in the ceiling. One, two, three, four. When the rain comes, yeah. Okay, but I think God will take care of us. Your imagination is not reality. Where is reality? Reality is in the here and now. Tell your neighbor. Where is reality? Uh -huh. Reality is in the here and now. Louder. Where is reality? Reality is in the here and now. That's it. So when you're talking with anyone, they should speak here and now. That's reality. With this, you can progress. With this, you can overcome. Here and now. now. Instead of talking here, they're talking, you know, when I was in the village, already it's not here. Already it's not now, because already you're in the village. Is it now? No. That's it. There's nothing you can cover here. You're wasting your time. We live each moment of each day now in the present. Now in the present. Each day. But how many people are aware of this? 
to say, now I'm in the present. This pulpit now, I'm in the present now. When I move out, it's in the past. That's why I say, have you been aware of the nows in your life? Hello? My daughter, Connie. Yes. Thank you, Dad. It's eye-opening that we have wasted so much time not thinking about what will benefit us in the future. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm realizing that there's been a lot of wasted time talking about the past that will not benefit me going forward. So from now, each moment of each day, now, in the, in present. the present, that's what is going to be my slogan. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to live by. Okay, title of the message. My life until now. Mm -hmm. My life until now. And when you look at it, your life until now. What? <laughs> what? Wow. I can't hear you. It's dress, trousers, suit, shoes, house that you're still paying. My life until now. Toothbrush, toothpaste, tea bone, red meat. Tell your neighbor, these are the things. My, your life, that's what it has been comprised of. Holiday, holiday. You are going to the village now. You've been going to the village all this time. What have you gained? Nothing. Apart from showing off and all. Talking big. Next year when I come, future. Amen. But what have you done to us now? Nothing. Nothing. And you're going there. Next year when I come, I'll bring another car. For who? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There's no reality. Reality is in the here and now. Let's talk from there. Because that's what we are building now. Everything is a test to help us elevate ourselves. So when you are writing your test, don't ask me for your answer to your test. Because I also have got a test. Uh, I can't hear you. Everything is what? It's a test. To do what? To help us elevate ourselves. Yes. Everything. Wealth is a test. And many people fail the test of wealth. Wealth. Tell your neighbor. Wealth is a test. Wealth is a test. Poverty is a test. Poverty is a test. You've been failing a test of poverty. Tell your neighbor. Uh, I've been failing a test of poverty. I can't hear you louder. I've been failing a test of poverty. Yes. That's why you are still there. If you had passed, you could have moved from poverty to the next level. Hello, I can't hear you. Ah. Do you promote someone who has failed? No. Poverty is what? A test. Wealth is what? A test. People can be given wealth because they don't know it's a test. Boom. Riches come from God. As they grow older, the more empty they become wealth-wise. They'll be telling you history. Past. Then you know this man has failed 
a test of wealth. Others have never tested wealth. They always test poverty. And they're smelling so. Tell your neighbor. Others have never tested wealth. They smell poverty and they're always smelling so. Failing test of poverty. It's complaining. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where I was born. Hey, people hate me. Hey, hey, generational case. Whoa, whoa. You had all these things. Why did you not multiply? Okay. When all is going well, when all is going nice and you love it, tranquility, calmness, I'm here to tell you, that too is a test. Thank you. That too is a test. Tranquility. Calmness. And that's why people, some of the people enjoyed calmness one time in their life. Tranquility. They had it. They lost it. Because then they thought this will continue without maintaining it. When the test came, down. Now there's no tranquility. There's no calmness. Even as you are sitting on that beautiful sofa, your heart beat as if you are running 100 meters with ocean boat. Tell your neighbor. What's wrong? I don't know. Just to stand up, go into the bathroom. Are you running? No. You are walking. Eh. Why? Look, your house is full of good things. But there's no tranquility. There's no calmness. You have lost it. This expensive chair, this big screen television, this bed that goes up and down cannot bring tranquility. No. That's what, and you are pumping yourself with these things. True or false? True. Your car you are driving, very good car. Look at the speed you are driving, as if demons are chasing you. <laughs> Going where? Enjoy this car. When we are faced with difficult life challenges, they are a test as well. Tell your neighbor. When we are faced with difficult life challenges, yes. they are a test as well. Life, difficult life challenges, they are a test. These need to be to, for you to pass. Look, when you are skilled in your profession, when you are skilled in your field, and you know that you are skilled, you actually enjoy the tests. Let's clap for Jesus. You are writing metric. You have studied very well. And they say, metric is next week. Say, Bring it on. English. You are writing and you are smiling. Geography. You are writing. And when you finish, you say, I've got five distinctions. Before they even mark why you are well prepared in your life. When difficulties come, when challenges come, are you well prepared? You enjoy the challenges, knowing after this test degree. Tell your neighbor. I say, tell your neighbor, don't laugh. 
Are you well prepared? Are you well prepared? Are you well prepared? With life challenges. With life challenges. So that when they come. So that when they come. You enjoy the tests. You enjoy the tests. That you take. That you take. Are we all here? Are you enjoying the test? The test. For example, my daughter, very shortly, should be writing grade 12, my granddaughter there. She should be preparing now so that when they say mock exam, next year somewhere there, she will, after next year, she mustn't be anxious to write a test. You mustn't be nervous to write a test. That's why they say, come early in the morning, nine o'clock. You don't have to go to the toilet. One, yeah, come back again. What time are you starting? Nine. Oh, I still got five minutes. Come. Down. Quarter to nine. A vigilator say, this is the last time. Those who want to go to the toilet, it's now. Thank you. <laughs> then you know, this one was not fully prepared, anxious, nervous. This one, half distinction, half, and half credit, one pass, full failures, 100% failures. Why? Did not prepare. Thank you, my daughter. Oh, these life challenges you did not prepare because you said it cannot happen to me. You said me, I'll pass. Preparing to master, preparing to master the challenges we face gives our life purpose and meaning. Yes. Preparing to master the challenges we face gives our life purpose and meaning. Again, please. Preparing to master the challenges we face gives our life purpose and meaning. That challenge is to give you what? Purpose and meaning. Purpose and meaning. Please, this is what you call life. Life is for growing and developing. Tell your neighbor. Life is for growing and developing. From each and every challenge. From each and every challenge. What is life? Life is for growing and developing from each and every challenge. L life is not red meat and sausage. Life is not shopping every day. No. No. What you call life when real life come, challenge, you fail, you collapse. If 
you wrote a book. My life up, up until now. Whatever you are reading in it, you don't like it. Hello? You don't like. But what is puzzling with you is, you don't like what you are reading in your book, my life up until now. But you keep reading the same disappointing chapters of your life over and over and over again. Why? Because your life, that's your own book. But you are always reading the same disappointing chapters. chapters over and over, over. And, it's your book. The happy chapters in your book, you keep on skipping. No, this is not good. But these ones, disappointing ones, uh, the painful ones, these are good chapters. Chapter 11, from chapter 2 to chapter 11. Yeah, they are painful. They make me cry, but I should go again to chapter 2 to 11. Why? One simple reason. You fail to focus on the present. You fail. You, you, you can't. You, you, your present just slides away, just like that. When you start focusing on the present, you drift to the past. Like Victor said, frustration comes from comparing what is to what you feel ought to be. Frustration comes from comparing what is to what you feel ought to be. You don't like the what is. You are always dwelling on what it ought to be. But how is it going to come? Because they are refusing reality first. Those who want to go where God wants them to go, I will lead you along. When you make wise choices in the present, not in the future, in the past, you can't make anything there. When you make wise choices in the present, and spend less time focusing on the past, spend less time focusing on the past, much of your frustration will disappear. Because the present has got nothing. The present is clean, it's new. It's you who bring the all to the present. So it's you who spoils the present. So the less you dwell on the past, much of your frustration will disappear. Tell your neighbor loud so that they will hear today. What you focus on expands. What you focus on expands. Louder. What you focus on expands. I can't hear you. What you focus on expands. So what do you focus on? That has expanded. Is it future? I can't hear you. You focus on no money. N right now, nothing. On money issue, nothing. Whenever you talk money, you start sweating and anger. You are focusing so much on money. And that's why it has expanded. Hello. Hmm. 
please advise you, increase your level of understanding. Increase your level of understanding that every moment of your life is a challenge to choose wisely. Increase your level of understanding that every moment of your life is a challenge to choose wiser thoughts. Wiser thoughts. Wiser words. Wiser actions. Every moment. So when somebody greets you, elevate. This moment now here, this moment, I heard this one say this, this, this against me. But now, here is a challenge. This is my moment now. I should choose right words. Not what I heard in the past. That is gone. I should be wiser now with my thoughts, with my words, with my actions. If you can do this, what can stop you from excelling in life? I can't hear you. No. Yes. You have been failing to experience more meaning and purpose for your life every day because you haven't been wise. You did not elevate your thought pattern. Your th you are... 44 years old with a juvenile tendencies. Your age and your actions can't marry. So why should you be promoted? Your age and your wisdom can't. Why can, how can you handle money? The body is big, but inside is small. It can't handle money. Immediate has money. Shopping. Juvenile. Childhood mentality. Tell your neighbor. Juvenile. <laughs> childhood mentality. Some of you, why you are buying all these things you are buying is because when you are growing up, your neighbor was buying them. Now, then you are in a new city, in a new everything, you are buying to show off your neighbors who don't see you. Imagination. Tell your neighbor. We are buying to show off your neighbors who don't see you. Yes. Imagination. Because your neighbors, you left them. You changed houses 15 times. But the neighbor who was buying like, you, like this, you left him far. They don't even know where you are now. But you are buying to show that one. Say, yeah, they used to show off. I'm going to buy that now. I'm going, for who? And your neighbors are all quiet and decent. Question, as I'm about to conclude. Where are you right now? Question, where are you right now? Huh? I say, where are you right now? Your answer, Apostle, is academic. Here now, yes, it's true. Okay. Here and now you are there. Do you have a road map to your life? I know you are here now. Do you have what? A road map to my life. That's why I say, where are you? Okay. If you are failing to have a road map, because you are modern, do you have a kind of GPS for your life? Ask your neighbor. Do you have a kind of GPS for your life? 
GPS navigates the route. It navigates. And I heard that to man sometimes. Very irritating. Turn right, turn right. I've heard you, man. <clears throat> Do you have that GPS in your life? So that when you are bound to lose, turn right, turn right. Do you? Then you want joy, isn't it? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. You want happiness, isn't it? Yes. You want fulfillment. Does your GPS of your life point you to such? Discuss. Does the GPS of your life point you to such? To joy. To joy. To happiness. To happiness. To fulfillment. To fulfillment. I can't hear. Okay, simple one. Does your GPS point out the detours along the path of life? As you are moving in life, does your GPS tell you, here if you take another step, you want, you want to fall. There's a ditch. Or when you want to do business with this one, you want to lose your money, your GPS. Oh, don't become very close to this one because he's going to stab you at the back. Hey, your GPS, you are going. That GPS of life. Then when you become very close to somebody in the office, the GPS rings. Pe, 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 pe. Danger. Then you go. <clears throat> Do you have that GPS? Discuss. Ah. Hello. I want to ask you. Hello. Hello. Why are you writing? Because that G you are writing your GPS now. Okay. Do you know where you should be then? Then why are you complaining where you are? Ask them. Do you know where you should be? Then why are you complaining where you are? Do you know where you are? Do you know where you should be? Where is your GPS then? You've got no GPS. You are living in the past, brooding over bad choices you have made. That's all. Brooding over wrong, bad choices you have made. Others are living in the future, worrying about events that may happen or may not happen, forgetting that life is now. Past, future, both of them useless. Life is now. To achieve this life is to live in the moment. Thank you. Some, I could hear a small amen. To achieve this life is to live in the moment. Though you did, not, you did not know, do you know right now, you are writing your life story right now with yourself. You, you will not come again to where you are now. This chapter is closed. If you are saying, no, I will improve next week, we are going to have misery and sorrow carrying on. And you continue writing in your life story shameful things, failure, Pain, lack of courage, no joy, sour grapes every time. Right now, you are choosing how the script of your life will be like. Tell your neighbor, you are looking at me. Right now, I am <clears throat> choosing how the script of my life will be like. How are going to read your script of your life? It's your choosing.
It's your choosing, you. It's not your worker, it's not your workmate, it's not your manager, it's not your wife, house, wife, baby come back, everything. No. Your children, it's not, it's you. Life is now. Life is now. Let me tell you one thing, then we go home. Life is about self-acceptancy. Self-acceptancy. To say, this is who I am, and, oh, and I'll live from here like this. But you have been refusing who you are. Life is about, after you have accepted yourself, it is about building your self-image. Because your image has been shattered, grounded, destroyed, burnt, turned over, thrown out. For lack of a better word, that's how your image has been. Upside down. You got no self-image. <clears throat> you believe whatever anyone tells you. You got no self-image. Because you have failed self-acceptancy. Self-acceptance is based on truth. Not because you've been defeated. No. No, 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 no. Life is now and it's about setting goals and reaching them. What goals of your life have you set? 2021. You're just getting ready. 2021 is coming. Oh, this week I'm going, I'm going away. I'm going to, say, to see zebras. Um, you're going to see zebra. After you see it, what benefit? I thought you are going to tell me you are going to eat zebra. Not see it. At least you have tested it. Now, you are going from here to see it and leave it. <clears throat> Is that your goal? And you have reached it. Life is now, and it's about how to live better life right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not 2021, now. That means there are going to be adjustments. Now. Not in the afternoon, when? Now. Living better life. I didn't say expensive life, better. You are happy with yourself, children are happy, you, you, you don't bother anyone, you don't, no, I'm just happy, I'm happy. We are happy and all, that's all. I don't look at what I don't have. I don't measure on what is missing. I don't measure, measure on what I used to have, no. No, capital no. It's acceptance. I do accept. Are we together? If we are, let's clap, let's hear to know that you are alive. Okay. Are you alive? Yes. I can't hear you. Are you alive? Yes. I didn't say whether you are alright or not. Just breathing. Are you alive? Yes. Therefore, you have a reason to be joyful. Amen. I can't hear you. Amen. You have a reason to be joyful. Right now, please, to show that you are full of joy. Stop focusing on what's wrong and what is missing in your life. Stop focusing on what is wrong and what is missing in your life. Don't. Thank you. 
And finally, because you are full of joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Stand up. And this is a Jewish number. You will bless 18 people now in your prayer. 18, not one, two, three, four. No. One, two, three. Jesus. Okay. Let's start again. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Prayer and bless 18 people. Call them by name. Prayer. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we have blessed them in the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be so. Amen. It shall be so. Amen.